China just dropped a bombshell figuratively. It claims its new sixth-generation stealth fighter, the J-36, can push U.S. bombers like the B-21 Raider out of the skies, over 1,000 kilometers from its coast. This is not just another prototype announcement. It's a clear message. The battle for control of the Western Pacific is entering a whole new phase. In this video, we'll break down how the J-36 could reshape air dominance, threaten U.S. access, and trigger the next military tech race. The J-36 isn't just a new aircraft, it's a strategic statement. Emerging from China's top aerospace design teams, this sixth-generation fighter has been highlighted by the state-affiliated magazine Shipborne Weapons as the answer to one of China's biggest air combat concerns. How to counter the threat of next-gen U.S. bombers like the B-21 Raider? But what exactly is the J-36, and why is it sending shockwaves through global defense circles? From the details disclosed, the J-36 is expected to feature a tailless, flying-wing design, similar in silhouette to the American B-2 and B-21 platforms. This design isn't about aesthetics, it's about survival in contested airspace. Tailless shapes drastically reduce radar cross-sections, making the jet far harder to detect by modern radar systems. Combined with advanced coatings and electronic warfare capabilities, it's clear China is aiming for a platform that can evade, suppress, and outmaneuver. Crucially, the J-36 isn't a clone of the J-20. It's likely more than an air superiority fighter. It's expected to operate with longer range, improve data sharing capabilities, and potentially act as a drone command hub, coordinating unmanned systems during missions. This makes it not just a dogfighter, but a force multiplier across a battle space extending over 1,000 kilometers from China's coastline. According to the Shipborne Weapons Report, the J-36 is being designed to allow China to block American bombers like the B-21 from even approaching the first island chain, which includes Taiwan, Japan, and the Philippines. It even claims that the J-36 will have the power to deny air superiority near U.S. bases like Guam for one to two hours, enough time to carry out key strategic operations or repel an incursion. This level of forward reach signals a shift in doctrine. Traditionally, China has focused on regional defense with limited projection capabilities. But the J-36 suggests a more offensive posture, aimed at disrupting U.S. intervention before it even begins. For Beijing, it's not about matching numbers or playing catch-up. It's about flipping the script entirely. While China is building a plane to keep threats out, the U.S. has already built one to get in it. The B-21 Raider, unveiled by Northrop Grumman and projected to reshape how America projects air power. With plans to produce at least 100 B-21S, the U.S. Air Force sees the Raider as the backbone of its next-generation strike capability. But why is this aircraft causing so much anxiety in Beijing? Let's start with the design. The B-21 Raider is a long-range, deep-penetration stealth bomber capable of both nuclear and conventional missions. Its flying wing shape is smoother, sleeker, and more radar-resistant than its predecessors. It was designed with open architecture, meaning future technologies like new sensors, weapons, or AI controls can be easily integrated without rebuilding the airframe. It's essentially a platform that evolves mid-service, which makes it hard to anticipate, let alone counter. But what truly elevates the B-21 is its multi-role nature. It's not just a bomber. It's a command and control node, capable of directing drones, relaying battlefield data, and integrating with satellite and ground-based assets in real time. That's what makes it terrifying to adversaries. It doesn't just show up and bomb, it coordinates, connects, and dominates the battle space from above. From China's perspective, this creates a major vulnerability. Its entire anti-access slash area denial A2 slash AD strategy built on layers of missile defense, radar networks, and early warning systems can be neutralized by a stealth aircraft that doesn't even register on radar until it's too late. Chinese military publications admit this openly. The B-21 is a threat too advanced for their existing J-20 fleet to reliably counter. And the Raider isn't theoretical. The Air Force has confirmed multiple B-21S are already under construction, with the first test flight completed in late 2023, an active service expected before the end of the decade. It's built to fly on crude, conduct precision strikes, and even manage drone swarms mid-flight. Every function is about speed, stealth, and survivability. 
In other words, it's designed for exactly the kind of contested airspace a Taiwan conflict would present. The game is no longer about total dominance. It's about disruption, denial, and holding control long enough to gain advantage. That's the real message behind Admiral Samuel Paparo's recent testimony to the U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee. As commander of U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, Paparo made it clear, neither the U.S. nor China is likely to achieve full air supremacy in a future conflict over Taiwan or the First Island chain. This acknowledgement marks a significant shift in U.S. military thinking. For decades, American warfighting doctrine has operated under the assumption that it would hold the skies. But with China developing platforms like the J-36, that assumption is eroding. So what does this new environment look like? Instead of aiming for complete control of the air, both sides are preparing to contest airspace, to carve out windows of opportunity where their aircraft can operate safely before seeding the skies again. This is where platforms like the J-36 and B-21 play critical roles. The J-36 is being developed to deny those windows to the U.S., effectively stalling American air operations, while the B-21 is meant to exploit even the smallest gaps in enemy defenses to strike before being detected. One bold claim from China's shipborne weapons magazine is that the J-36 could enforce airspace blockades for one to two hours over key regions like Guam. That might sound short, but in military operations, that's a lifetime. Long enough to launch missiles, reposition forces, or block enemy reinforcements. These are not imaginary time frames. They're mission-critical margins. This evolution is also forcing planners to rethink alliances and positioning. The first island chain is no longer a buffer, it's the front line. Forward-deployed units, like the U.S. Marine Expeditionary Forces in Japan and the Philippines, will need support under fire, not just in peacetime. That means air superiority will be a fluid, contested asset, not a permanent condition. The introduction of China's J-36 and the U.S. B-21 Raider marks a pivotal moment in the contest for air superiority. These advancements reflect the strategic priorities of both nations and their commitment to maintaining a competitive edge in military capabilities. As the Indo-Pacific becomes increasingly contested, the deployment of such advanced aircraft will play a critical role in shaping the security landscape. The ongoing technological race emphasizes the need for continued investment in innovation, strategic foresight, and international cooperation to ensure stability and prevent escalation in the region. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.